Hey guys, so Jane here from Lazy Gaming. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Martini Henry Rifle in Battlefield 1. So this is the weapon you unlock at Scout Rank 10 in the game. If you want to know how to unlock this, I did a video on this giving you tips and tricks on how to rank up faster and stuff like that. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more Battlefield 1 content. But I'm going to go through the history of this weapon, then the stats, and give you my opinion on it. So the Martini Henry was a breech-loading, single-shot, lever-actuated rifle used by the British Army. It first entered service in 1871, eventually replacing the Snyder Enfield, a muzzle loader converted to the cartridge system. Martini Henry variants were used throughout the British Empire for 30 years. It combined the dropping block action first developed by Henry Peabody and improved by Swiss designer Friedrich von Martini. Combined with the polygonal barrel rifling style by Scotsman Alexander Henry. Though Snyder was the first breech loading firing a metallic cartridge in regular British service, the Martini was designed from the outset as a breech loader and was both faster firing and had longer range than its previous uh, British rifles. There were four main marquees of the Martini Henry produced, the Mark I, Mark II, Mark III, and Mark IV. There was also an 1877 carbine version. It would end in production in 1889, but remain in the service through the British Empire until the end of the First World War. Now, this wasn't the most common rifle in the British Empire during World War I, but you would likely see it used by many British colonies, such as India and other African colonies owned by Britain and they were often used by local forces uh, because the British Empire gave them these weapons. Now in game this weapon does 90 max damage, or sorry the starting damage is 90, obviously it does 100 max damage with the sweet, sweet spot and its end damage is 70 and the sweet spot is between 30 and 80 meters. So you're going to be getting that one hit kill between 30 and 80 meters and then after 80 meters it will slowly drop off to 70 damage. Fires at 38 rounds per minute, which is pretty fast considering you have to reload a bullet into the chamber every single time you shoot. It has a 440 meters per second muzzle velocity, which is very slow, and a pretty high bullet drop of 12 meters per second. So this weapon is one of the better snipers in the game simply because of its sweet spot. It has one of the largest sweet spots and it's at a very close range. 30 meters is pretty close, you'll see in the gameplay you get a ton of one hit kills with this weapon just based on the sweet spot and at the beginning you saw me get that crazy long range headshot as well which is just pretty lucky with this weapon but it is a one hit headshot at all ranges. Um, the main drawback of using it at range is that it only has iron sights which can be zoomed up to two times but that's it, you don't get any scope with this rifle which is a bit of a pity, I really wish they had more customization options with a lot of the Battlefield 1 weapons. And there's only one variant with this weapon, um, as all the rank 10 weapons are. They only have one variant, which is a little interesting. Honestly, this weapon has the closest sweet spot of all the sniper rifles. That would make That's what makes it so good. It's also a very fun rifle to use. Um, the satisfaction of getting that one hit kill and then having your weapon just shoot up right away and shoot, like being able to just reload around in the chamber every time is pretty awesome. And it's what makes this weapon my favorite gun of the game. Um, it's probably not the best sniper rifle. Um, that might go to the Russian 1895 in my opinion because that's the most versatile. But this is definitely up there as one of the best sniper rifles because of its one hit kill range. If you can get over the other aspects of this weapon such as the so slow fire rate and slow muzzle velocity and really stick to this weapon's engagement range between 30 and 80 meters, you will be extremely successful with this weapon. And just a side note, if you're looking for Calibri kills um, with that tiny pistol, uh, this weapon is the best to use it with because you can get that 90 damage up close. And you can pretty easily finish somebody off with the Calibri up close when they only have 10 damage or 10 health left. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below. I'm actually grinding the Assault class now to try to unlock the Hell Regal, um, which will be probably my next weapon review or the Calibri, either one, whichever I can get first. Um, but that's what it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.